Hello everybody, I'm Jims McMahon, with me is Gorilla Mezzo and here is the card for Friday Night Stand Firm for the 29th of May. Hello Gorilla. Hello, hello. We are starting it off as we are all month with a fatal four-way Money in the Bank qualifier match and the four up for the draw, Ardvac, T-Swizzle, Fiction and The Waitrix. Thaw, my pick to win that one, a little bit bigger than all those other guys, uh, but that should be a fun match. Yeah, I mean, anything could happen, of course. Uh, Fiction does have the deadly brass nooks that he may use to devastating effect. Um, it is an elimination match, and uh, it'll be interesting to see which one of these joins Squirrel Dude and Kiwi Nutsack Attack in the Money in the Ass. Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> what's it called? Pit of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now Unseen Walker uh, looking to do a bit of self-promotion after winning the title. Curious to see what he has to say for himself and what his plans are with that belt. He's got to know there's a target on his back with money in the ass coming up. Uh, but uh, right now we're gonna well, we're gonna give him the ring to uh, tell us a little bit more about himself. Yeah, and it should be interesting to hear from that Scottish Mexican fella. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got the uh, the final match in the first round of the number one contenders tournament, tag tournament. It is Das Hats versus Breaking Storm. Yep. Uh, Lean Garen or Alensis uh, looking to get back in the title shot, having to go the long way through a tag tournament to get those uh, two heads championships. But Breaking Dad and Matt Storm are uh, looking to shake things up and move uh, move up the bracket. Yeah. <laughs> now this is, <laughs> the odds are stacked against Muppet Pac-Man in a one-on-one -on -one steel cage match versus Hippie. Absolutely. <laughs> I think Muppet might have been caught out doing a little bit too politicking about his last uh, steel cage match, complaining that it prevents him from his go-to move, the 619. Uh, and uh, put in the ring with uh, Bleeding Hippie, who, with the cage in, in place, won't be able to go to his springboard and miss halfway across the ring near sighted jump, which uh, will give him a significant advantage in not ruining the match for himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah that should be interesting. Hippie's had a great record. We'll put top competitors. So these really are two of the top, uh, two of the top plim plum pluserweights, no doubt. Absolutely. And speaking of plim plum pluserweights, there's a call out from Ghoulface Killer. Yeah, what's on his mind after retaining his title at the last pay-per-view? Does he have more trash to talk to Mordam or just Joe or someone completely new? We're going to have to wait till Friday to find out. Yeah, that should be very interesting. And uh, speaking of just Joe, he's in a one-on-one -on -one normal match versus Humorous Chimp. Yeah, two guys that uh, always always deliver in their matches, rewarded with a... Uh, with a uh, a late you know a late show on Friday night match, uh, all eyes are going to be on them, and uh, I think this will be a good one. Yeah, absolutely. Two high flyers, very uh, acrobatic, very uh, talented, and uh, both great faces. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Picture perfect stuff. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> all Damn right, man. let me tell you about this one. Night Demon, after a shameful display on Wednesday night, punching out the ref in frustration at his loss. Uh, that went right up. That went right up the uh, chain of command. And Jim McMahon himself said he's not going to put up with any of that bullshit uh, because while we don't protect anything else in this league, we have no capacity to replace refs. So if a ref goes down, we just can't have a show. So Night Demon being punished, put in a handicap one-on-two tag match against Extra Arms Bot and Bezel Bot. And, ooh, I do not like Night Demon's odds. I think he's going to be taking his medicine in this one, too. Yeah, I mean, it is a tag match, so it's it's not it's not 100% guaranteed that he lost. But it is it is a big, it is obviously a big uh, big ask to uh, to take on guys who can tag out and stuff. And obviously, EAB, a dominant champion. Bezel, you know, a, a hellacious competitor. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be very tough for Night Demon. Absolutely. And, uh... I guess that's it. So thank you very much, Gorilla Metal. Absolutely, Jim. Have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.